Hi everyone, welcome to the world of English with Sakshi Khanna. I hope you all are doing wonders in your academics with full concentration this time and my this video will find you all safe and protected. Okay, moving towards today's topic and that is for the grade 11 book hornbill, not chapter. This time it's about poem. So poem today that is photograph. The poem is a tribute to the poet's mother. She is looking at an old photograph of a mother which has a frame of cardboard. As you all know that we also hang on the wall some momentous photographs. So in the same way she had one photograph on the cardboard frame which was the olden version. The picture has three girls in which the middle one is the oldest and the tallest. It is her mother when she was 12 years old or so. Beside her on both sides are her two cousins, Betty and Dolly, who are holding her hands and are younger than her. This is an overview of today's poem that is the photograph. Okay, so in today's session, we will do the summary, line to line explanation, the hard words, the central idea, major themes of the poem. So I hope you all will pen down the notes which I am giving you slide by slide. Shall I move on? Yes. Before I move towards the poem, the circumstance of the poem we need to understand originates in an old photograph. I talked to you about some old photographs which was hung on the wall. Recaps on old family holiday by the beach. By the beach side they went for an old family holiday evokes pleasant memories always we feel pleasant when we recap or refresh our memory a link to the past speaker as well as the listener themes now if we talk about the themes two type of themes here in the poem we consider according to the poet first is reminence reminiscence a mental impression Reminiscence means a mental impression retained and recalled from the past. And second is nostalgia. Nostalgia is a longing for something past. Homesickness, hungriness, yearning means terrible desires. Terrible desires related to the past which we can't get back at all. So in reminiscence, a young happy mother fond memories. A young happy mother fond memories these two titles and in nostalgia mother missed her carefree past when she was carefree in everyone's childhood they all are free bird like that in the same way the mother missed her carefree past even though uh, yesterday as the result declared and some of the student has put up some of the students have put up on their status which i checked we will miss the great school days that means now you will feel because that time was you were carefree now you are responsible so daughter misses her mother who is no more let's move to the poem in detail crystallizes thoughts now crystallizes thoughts here immortality immortality you know that no end art photograph nature see so there is no end of the photograph. You can have the photographs of 50 years old, 60 years old, maybe 100 years old. You can have the nature, the sea, no change. The mountains, no change. Immortal. These are immortal things. Mortality, life's event. Life's event and the life. It has mortality. Power of memory. Difficulty of forgetting her mother. It is really very difficult to forget the parents okay and the time spent with her then moving on from her past it's very difficult so what type of difficulties she felt Shirley Tolson who is the author who is the poet of this poem poetess of the poem she was feeling difficulty for forgetting her mother moving on from her past totally silence because mother was no more time the great healer and the death poetic technique here turns a commonplace event into a source for a 
metaphysical discussion on life a mix of joy and sorrow we all know what is life actually it's a mixture of joy and sorrow not all the time joyous moment not all the time sad moment memories holiday was her past mine is her laughter now holiday was her past mine is her laughter death silences every one time a great leveler and healer which balances everything after some time time is considered like this the photograph by charlotte olson first of all main idea followed by the summary and then we will do line by line explanation okay so in the main idea death can numb you and leave you at a loss of words the finality of death and the loss cannot be expressed in words death can silence you and leave you speechless it silence silences everything here the poet is wanted to say death can numb you yes it can make you depressed and leave you at a loss of words when you are speechless to explain the loss which you had but actually death is a silence which silences everything the mother missed her past and found it amusing and the daughter missed her past with her mother the time she spent with her mother when she was alive this is with everyone that is why we always say that value the time value the relation when you are with your parents give your 100% your devices your mobiles your laptops this media will never replace your parents never in the life so as much as you can support them you can love them you can show your affection you will feel good in the future when they will not be around the words transient feet has a special significance they show how transient temporary human life is as compared to the nature nature is a permanent immortal okay but life life movements the events are are mortal they will finish at one stage of time so this poet poetess wanted to say moving to the summary let's take a look the poet recalls the memory of her late mother gazing at gazing means looking at the frame where the photograph of her mom along with cousins batty and dolly in their preteens when they were in the teenage the photo refers to one of their visits to the sea beach many places we used to visit okay but here they are specially mentioning about the place that is beach side at that time the mother's face had the sweetness of a young girl definitely they all are so young transient feet refers to the transience of life transient feet means temporary look the small feet okay because they are young feet are different she recalls how mom had looked at the photo 20 30 years later and laughed at the attires attires means the wearing the dressing okay that she had she and her cousins were wearing the sea holiday was a thing of past for her her smiling face had become a thing of the past for the poet just as the mother's childhood had been for her both of them mom and poet now move on despite the losses now she has been dead for about 12 years she void in the life of the poet is the silence and gloom that she feels gloom means loneliness no moment okay all stand still feeling unhappy so this is all about the poem now we are moving to the poem line to line explanation let's move ahead a photograph by charlotte olson now i request you all even i suggest you all to pen down the things first of all we talk about the introduction you need to write down with me on the screen i will make it little broad so that you can understand each and every word and by this i am speaking as well okay so please try to listen and write as well
a photograph introduction of the lesson the poem a photograph is written by shirley tolson in this poem in this poem she recalls her mother and her memories while looking at a childhood photograph when her mother was just 12 years old or so she has been deceased 12 years ago and she cannot explain her grief on her mother's loss means when she was just 12 years old she was looking at that time of photograph and now her mother is no more so this we need to understand here in the introduction of the poem moving ahead to the line by line explanation of the passage the cardboard shows me how it was now this is the real text of the poem okay so be very careful after this i will give you line by line explanation which you need to pen down the cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands it shows that the center one is her mother means poetess mother as she the big girl some 12 year or so age around 12 years now let's have the explanation the hard word only that is paddling paddling means moving or walking it's related to the moving on the waves of the sea as they all were on the beach side in these lines the poet is looking at an old photo album which is made up of cardboard in the picture there are three girls who are walking on the beach holding each other's hand the girl in the middle is the tallest and oldest the other two girls on each side are younger than her the girl in the middle is the poet's mother she is around 12 years old when the picture was taken i hope you understood i repeat the explanation once again in simple vocabulary in these lines the poet is looking an old photograph she took it out from the cupboard and maybe you can say whenever we open the cupboard we get some old photographs old momentous things okay and then we all lost in the memories and refresh all the things sometime it give us happiness sometime it gives us sadness but here it was a mixture of both happiness that she was recapping she was thinking about her mother and sadness mother is no more with her okay so mixture of both the feeling fine so in these lines the poet is looking at an old photo album which is made up of a cardboard in the picture there are three girls who are walking on the beach means they were just roaming playing on the beach on the waves they are just walking paddling like that the girl in the middle is the tallest and oldest one the other two girls on each side are younger than her the girl in the middle is the poet's mother she is around 12 years when the picture was taken the age of the girl was around 12 years next stanza all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less wash their terribly transient feet transient feet means changeable not permanent okay as they all were very young in childhood in all their teen age and when they were so older the transient feet got changed okay but here the sea has been considered changeless okay so let us take about the explanation going ahead to the next passage guys in the above lines the poet describes how the photograph was taken her mother's uncle took the photograph and told them to stop and pose they all were instructed to have a smiley good looking pose for the perfect photograph all three of them left their wet hair open obvious it is because they are on the sea beach okay and all the waves of the sea always making their hair wet and the hair also open the poet's attention is drawn towards his mother face which is described as a sweet face 
the center one the center fun lady okay the girl sorry who was lady now having the sweet face the photograph was taken long before the poet was born the poet calls their feet terrible transient transient means temporary as they were so young by then and now they had grown older on the other hand the sea which touched their feet has changed less if you imagine some 50 years old sea of bombay okay it would be same no change at all minor minor changes you can get in the same way nature has immortality hardly nature changes okay so this point wanted to say moving to the third passage of the poem some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach now explanation of this passage let's talk after 20 30 years later she would laugh at the photograph she would tell me to look at her cousins now here the poet is talking about mother mother is here she means after 20 30 years later when she was looking at the photograph she would laugh at the photograph she would tell me to look at her cousins means how they all are dressed up for the beach game betty and dolly and how their parents would dress all three of them up for the beach they would have plan to take a photograph before hand this was the preparation means this passage describe the thought which the girl had the girl had means the poet had that how her mother looked at the photograph after some 20 30 years later moving ahead to the fourth stanza of the poem the sea holiday was a past mine is a laughter both wry wry means humorously sarcastic or mocking with the labor is of loss labor is tensed stressed with burden of loss okay now let's move to the explanation stanza 4 the poet recalls the sea holiday was her mother's favorite movement from the past while the poet's favorite movement from the past was her mother's laughter if we talk about ourselves when we think about our mother and we will be also feeling the same how happy my mother was in the photograph both the women would think about those past memories which they cannot live again definitely it will never turn back they tried their best to adjust to what they lost we can just compensate our losses with our other availabilities of the things that's why we always say that we need to understand the value of the relationship which exists at the present going to the final stanza of the poem now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it silence silences moving to the explanation according to me only the hard word you can say to this context of the poem that is silences a complete absence of sound full silence looking to the explanation now in the above lines means the final stanza fifth stanza in the above lines the poet says that her mother died 12 years ago the same age her mother was in the photograph whenever the poet thinks of her mother's death she cannot explain what effect she has of her mother's death obviously if we talk about the loss like parents big loss of the life the biggest i consider that it will make us speechless all the time so death has silenced her mother which has also left her speechless this the poet wanted to say finally let us talk about the literary devices used in the poem first is alliteration alliteration you all know i am recapping your memory refreshing your memories 
repetition of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive words the instances of alliteration in the poem are as follows stood still through their my mother's terribly transient silent silences okay so here alliteration only used as literally device oxymoron oxymoron i explained you in the class as well a term which contradicts itself labored ease okay labored burden is comfortable both words are contradicting each other okay labored negative is positive contradictory a term which contradicts so labored is if it will be asked to you people in the question then oxymoron is the literally device poetic device which you can say now terribly transient epithet a phrase expressing the quality of a person or something terribly transient something quality terribly transient very small feet okay so epithet is the poetic device used in the poem so three type of poetic devices have been used first is epithet oxymoron alliteration please don't forget make the notes of that as well here i just want to tell you if you will get some question answers based on labored ease of loss which is very important phrase here so the poet realizes that she has lost her mother and so that labor ease of loss sets in labor ease of loss because it is difficult for her to forget her mother that is the labor and put behind her past and move on that is the easiness it has ease because the pain of the loss is reduced with time time acts as a healer and the daughter moves on all the time if we will be thinking for our losses we can't move ahead so is in the context of time means time acts as a great healer so even though she has not really forgotten her yes we forget our parents mother but then she is not even in as great a pain now 12 years after her mother's death as she was when her mother died now after 12 years she is not she is feeling even though she can't forget her mother the loss is unrepairable okay uncomparable but she has moved on okay so this point wanted to say here before i close today's session let us recap all the stanzas the poet recalls the memory of her late mother gazing at the frame where the photograph of her mom along with cousins patty and dolly in their preteens the photo refers to one of their visits to the sea beach at that time the mother's face had the sweetness of a young girl transient feet small feet refers to the transience of life temporary temporary stage of the life she recalls how mom had looked at the photo 20 30 years later and laughed at the attires that she and her cousins were wearing the sea holiday was a thing of past for her her smiling face had become a thing of the past for the poet just as the mother's childhood had been for her both of them mom and poet now move on despite the losses now she has been dead for about 12 years the void in the life of the poet is the silence and gloom that she feels before i sign you off i again suggest you to pen down all the notes and tomorrow by morning you will be getting all the question answers and the detailed summary of this poem by shirley tolson those sweet moments were memories now now the poet's mother had been dead for the past 12 years which is the same number as of her age when the photograph was taken back then she cannot express the grief that she has from her mother's absence the poet remembers her mother who died about 12 years ago the poet recalls how her mother used to look at a photograph and remember her own childhood the photograph was taken when her mother had gone for a sea holidays with her cousins and her uncle now just looking at her 
missing her and refreshing herself too so this is all about today's session i request you all please get back to the work now pen down the notes as suggested okay and start practicing whatever the exercise has been forwarded to you but you people are not responding yesterday also i gave you 25 questions based on spotting error but i didn't receive the answer from any of you so really disappointed but i recall you all the time refresh you always so please fasten your bells and take off the flight of working now it's already very late guys so see you tomorrow with another topic thank you so much till the time stay protected stay safe goodbye